What's happening, guys? Uh, so, for those of you who don't know me, maybe this is your first time uh, watching my channel. My name is Kevin Duty, and um, I am a knife and EDC influencer uh, slash, you know, knife tuber, you could say. Um, my channel has really blown up recently. Um, there are a lot of people that kind of look to me for advice and uh, wisdom. And, uh, you know, uh, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that it's really difficult. And it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Um, but I do it because I love it. And um, here's just a little uh, look into my life as a knife influencer. There's often a lot of uh, pressure that comes with uh, people asking you for advice and uh, recommendations on knives to buy. Uh, you know, it's stressful. Um, somebody, for instance, asked me uh, what was the best knife they could use for camping. Um, and I probably spent around two hours kind of researching and... Uh, diving deep into the world of camp knives uh, in order to give this guy the perfect recommendation and get him a knife that I knew for a fact would be perfect for him. I had him fill out um, kind of a, not an application, but uh, a series of questions designed to help me get to know him better so that I could, uh, you know, really find the knife that fits him personally. Um, so that's not only it takes time, but is also stressful. Um, you know, a, a lot of people kind of look at me as the number one knife guy. And it's true. Uh, I am the number one knife guy. Uh, but it, it's also, you know, uh, what, what's the saying? Uh, heavy is the crown. Uh, uh, he um, yeah, heavy is the crown. And, um, and that's very true. You know, uh, being so well loved, um, in the knife community, uh, it, it does come with some trolls, you know, there are trolls out there and, uh, I don't think they're real knife guys. They're probably just, uh, regular internet trolls that come into the knife world to try to get a rise out of you, you know, uh, these trolls, they really, they they thrive on on annoying you and making you angry. So, um, you know that 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 part's really difficult. It's very hard on me when I hear somebody, uh, you know, questioning what I said in the video, um, saying that you're wrong. You know, calling me names, um, saying my hands are dirty. You know, it it hurts. It honestly really hurts. And, um, you know, I try to just respond uh, respectfully and say, you know, I, I validate your opinions of me and, you know, speak your truth. But, you know, the, this hurts me. And I let them know, hey, this hurts. And um, if you would if you would mind or if, if you wouldn't mind, please do not continue this uh, this type of hate speech on my YouTube channel. Uh, but they don't listen, you know, I, I'll say that and then they'll call me more names, you know. Um, I've considered quitting YouTube m many multiple times because of the trolls, you know. They really get under my skin. Um, and, um, you know, you, there's just no winning. There's no winning with the trolls. Uh, you're pretty much a, in a constant battle. So, you know, that, that really takes a toll on my mental health. It really does. So as far as my, my finances go... Um, you know, uh, it's a double-edged sword because, uh, thankfully I was able to quit my day job and become a full-time, um, knife tuber. Um, but the other side of that is, uh, you know, I rely on your guys' donations in order to feed my family. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's awesome for me to be able to not work anymore. You know, I pretty much just, uh, I sit around and, um, you know, write down, uh, video ideas for, for, uh, you know, knives. Um, I'll do a lot of research, um, 
like I said earlier, uh, responding to comments, um, doing a lot of research into giving the best re uh, recommendations I can. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, sleeping, you know, I, I it, this really tires me out, uh, especially after I spend, you know, uh, half the day, um, you know, with these, these attacks from these trolls, just, you know, occupying so much of my, my, uh, my mental uh, bandwidth. Um, so there's a lot of sleeping. Um, and then when I wake up, I feel kind of, you know, recharged, maybe I'll make a video. Um, oftentimes I'll record a video and, uh, you know, finish recording, I'll go back and watch it. And it's just not up to par with, with what I think I should be putting out into the, into the universe. So I will, I will delete it. I will re-record it. Sometimes 10 times I will do this. Um, so, um, all that to say, um, you know, your donations are, are really appreciated and honestly, they're, they're needed. They are necessary in order for me to continue um, paying my rent, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, uh, being being a, a big knife tuber is a lot of responsibility. And I feel that um, going back to my day job is just not an option. Uh, it's just not an option because, um, you know, like I've been saying this whole time, people rely on my knife recommendations. They need me to tell them uh, which knives are good and which knives are bad. So um, please donate. My, my Patreon uh, is down below. And um, you can become a channel member as well. Um, I don't really, you don't really get anything for it. But, um, you know, if you would, please. Uh, the lowest tier is, I think, uh, 30 bucks a month. And then it goes up from there. But, um, yeah, it would be much appreciated. Another uh, aspect of what I do for a living, uh, you know, re reviewing knives is, um, you know, there's a lot of knife makers, knife distributors, knife designers that are sending me their products, um, to feature on my channel. You know, I'm pretty much doing them a favor by showing their knife on my channel and, you know, getting them that exposure. Um, but it's tough, man. It is so tough to, try to keep organized with all the knives I have coming in constantly, you know, um, so sometimes I'm just like, you know what, uh, I'm just going to throw these in the, tr in the trash because I have too many. Um, I just need to kind of clear my space, clear my desk and kind of start fresh. So I'll do that probably yeah, once a month. I'll kind of go through the, 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 the pile I have of, um, knives that have been sent in and I'll set aside the ones I'm gonna make uh, videos on, mostly the ones that I know that will sell well, um, and I'll be able to make a, a cut from those. And the other ones that uh, people may, may not like too much, or maybe they're, uh, you know, a little too weird. You know, there's some weird knives out there. Um, I'll just toss them, you know, I'll, I'll throw them in the trash can, and um, that's really the only way that I can kind of stay organized and, um, and, and keep, stay sane, really. Um, you know, uh, I, I appreciate being sent these, these free knives. Um, but, uh, it's, it's overwhelming really. Now my, re my review process, uh, when I go to do a review video, um, let me, I'm just going to give you a kind of a look into my process for reviewing a knife and you'll see how much goes into it, man. It, 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 it often takes me, you know, three full days to uh to put out a full comprehensive knife review and oftentimes i won't even sleep in those three days i will stay up for three days straight making the best knife review i possibly can and then after those three days i i crash and i'll sleep for you know four or five days straight after that uh it really takes a lot out of me um you know, my, my doctors have been saying that uh, my stress levels are too high. You're not getting enough sleep. Um, but I tell them, you know, have you heard of Duty's Daggers? <laughs> I mean, of course you have. Uh, I have a responsibility to my viewers. So what I'll do is, I'll, you know, I'll get a knife in. Um, I'll look at it, kind of stare at it for a couple minutes. Um, 
I will look and see uh, how much money I'm going to make uh, from my, uh, my uh, um, um, uh, affiliates uh, uh, codes, affiliate links uh, with the knife. And if it seems to be worth it for me to review, if it's, you know, my, my percentage of income will be high enough when people buy the knife, um, I will, you know, it'll pass my initial screening. I'll sit there and I'll, I'll kind of, you know, turn it over in my hands here. I'll, I'll use this as an example. Cotton set up Loki here. I'll kind of look at it. Um, you know, I like to see um, a nice flat clip here. Um, I like to be able to kind of put my finger underneath it like this and then pull it out. If you pull it out quickly, that means it's a good clip. Uh, this is a good clip. Um, I'll look at the blade shape. You know, you kind of want it to... So here, here's a good kind of trick. Put your fingers like this, kind of uh, inch, inch and a half apart, and kind of bring the knife in, and the point where the the spine and the and the blade touch both top and bottom fingers, that should be kind of right at the middle of the blade, right about here. So this is perfect. This is perfectly done. Bam! Right there. Perfect. Um, you know, ergonomics are a big thing. Um, I usually check first. I check the reverse grip first. Um, because, you know, a lot of people use this grip, um, you know, and people, people don't talk about it because, you know, they, they think, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell people I, I hold the knife like this and they're going to say, oh, what are you doing, man? You're holding the knife backwards. <laughs> and so uh, most people don't even say that they, they like to do that, but... You know, it's a good way to, to, to hold the knife. You know, if you need to do uh, draw cuts, you can do the, the reverse draw cut, you know, like that. Uh, anyway, so this one, um, I like to call it the primary grip, right? It's reverse for some people. For me, it's primary. Um, this primary grip. Uh, and then I'll go around and, and do the reverse grip just for, you know, those people that, that like to hold it this way. Um, you know, I, I like to be able to put my whole hand on the, on the handle. Um, I'll kind of do the middle finger test. Um, what you want to do is, is grip the knife, do a middle finger, and if you can still kind of cut and do everything you need with this finger out, off the handle, then it's a it's a pretty ergonomic knife. Um, next, I check the action. You want it to be uh, you want it to open up real real fast. So you flick it. That's pretty fast. Um, let's try it again. Yeah, that's pretty fast. So this is good. We'll check how it falls shut. This one, let's see. Two shakes. I kind of start it straight up and down with the handle. Let it fall. And then I'll rotate to 45 degrees. Give it a tiny shake, a little jiggle, and perfect. Excellent. So this passes the test. Um, and um, th this process takes me, like I said, like three, three four days. Um, once I have done that, I will record the video um, talking about all the things that I kind of went over just now. Um, I will make sure to at least four times throughout the video um, reference down to the description, um, making sure everybody knows that I have the um, affiliate link down there uh, that they need to use. And I tell them, you know, if you don't, if you don't plan on buying this knife, you are actively hurting me. You're hurting my family and taking food out of my child's mouths. Um, so I make sure that they know that. Um, and that's kind of it, you know. That's that's the review process for me. So that about wraps it up. Um, you know, being a knife, knife tuber is not all that it's cracked up to be. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys a glimpse into my life as a, an influencer. Uh, you know, even though it has its trials and tribulations, um, I do love what I do. I do love it, and um, it's almost like, you know, I feel like an artist who uh, has the need to make art. And if he's not making art, he feels um, purposeless. And uh, that's really what I feel, you know, when I make a video, I'm making art. And... Um, I just hope that um, you all can appreciate that and, you know, compensate me for all the work that I, I put into this for you. I do this for you. So, thank you. Please like the video. Look down below to the um, 
to the uh, description and you'll find um, a link to the th this knife that I was just talking about in the video. Um, make sure you use that link and buy this knife. Um, if you don't, remember, you're, you're actively hurting me. Um, that's it. Thank you. I love you. And I'll see you next time.